Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Kadia. You're watching me on YouTube now. And in this session, I'm going to take you through how to install Sonar Cube on your local system. So at the same time, we'll also explore how to install Sonar Cube on sonarcloud.io for free and also explore like how you can set up this thing on AWS on, or any other uh, platform where you want to deploy it. OK. So by the way, if you are not familiar about SonarCube, SonarCube is something that we use to find a test coverage and this kind of stuff to uh, maintain the quality of your code, uh, analyze uh, your code and this kind of stuff. So this is what we are going to explore in this today's session. So this is more specifically about how to containerize your SonarCube. So you don't need to set up manually everything with just single file. Uh, you can deploy it with single command on your local and uh, with single command on your AWS and with single click on Sonar Cloud. So let's deep dive into it. So uh, I'm going to open my terminal quickly to just check that I have Docker already or not. So Docker hyphen hyphen version you can hit. If you don't have it, uh, just go here on docker.com. Install this for your specific system, Apple, Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever it may be. And after that, just go uh, to sonarcloud.io. If you uh, don't have an account, just do sign up, do login. You will be greeted with this beautiful screen. After that, you can select here uh, on analyze new project. OK, it, you can directly connect this to your GitHub account. And once you connect to your GitHub account, you can directly choose any repo. OK, once you choose, you can click here on setup. It's going to set up. It's going to find all the test cases that you wrote. It, it's going to explore all the code quality. It's going to find your test coverage and it's going to show the report. This is kind of a directory I'm not familiar with, but I'm not sure. But this is analyzing uh, what's going on. So this is the first way on the cloud directly. You can do the things you can. You will get your secret key and ID and you can add this to your pipeline, GitHub Actions, Jenkins, wherever it may be. So you don't need to create a virtual machine uh, specifically dedicatedly because this is officially provided by Sonar Cube, Sonar Cloud. So that's what I always prefer to go with. OK, so here's the thing. OK, so this is something we got test coverage is of course zero percent because there is nothing but this kind of dashboard that you will get okay this kind of branch you can select issues security hotspots measures code quality activities all the things that you will get here uh for free for few of your projects okay and let me switch to docker now uh if you have docker already inside your system then all you have to do is to create a new folder on your desktop just name it whatever it may be i'm gonna name it sonar okay because this is sonar cube i'm gonna choose my default editor vs code you can use notepad as well it doesn't matter i'm gonna create a new file here uh, which should be my docker hyphen compose.yaml so where i'm gonna write a yaml code just gonna create two containers one for the postgresql one for the sonar cube to persist the data and the version I generally choose to work with 3.8 because I am familiar with it. You can choose latest version as well. So services that I'm going to use is Sonar Cube first one. So I'm going to go for Sonar Cube. OK, like this. And also let me save this and reload the page, reload the window. OK, so this looks good to me and let me wait for my github copilot i'm using copilot so if you are not familiar about this extension this uh this is a paid version 10 dollar per month you can get according to your choice to just save the time okay and here we go so this is my very first uh we are gonna choose the latest one by the way so this is my container you you need to provide a container name ports it will work on the port 9000 you can uh reload like re uh, do port forwarding to port 80 so don't need to write 9000 in front of localhost so this is all up to you this is the kind of volumes it's gonna create to persist the data which is very important every time you when you restart the container it's gonna lose the data whenever you will start and docker compose things it will store inside your local machine and it's gonna share the data between your containerized uh, volumes and local volume so like the way environment variable would be this but we don't have because this is a java based on the top of java 
so you don't need to learn java by the way this is just a java code uh, which is built uh, into the sonar cube built on the top of java that's why the jdbc connections required and for that i need to create postgresql as well so here i'm gonna create a postgresql and for that i'm gonna choose the image of uh, postgres you can choose any version specific by the way and this is how i'm ready to go for the very first docker compose file that's all we need okay and just one command and that command would be docker compose up okay and once you if by the way you can provide any file name uh, but after that you need to provide file path as well here by followed by hyphen f okay so i i default uh, name would be my docker compose dot aml that i have already used so it will take a while to uh get started with so first the post race will start and after that sonar cube will start uh and after that you just need to go here on your browser and simply search for localhost colon 9000 and just hit enter it's going to show this loading icon because it's loading if you see here this is still uh doing the things okay and if i refresh the page it's going to take a while to get started and to do set up for you guys till then what you can do is what are the things you need in order to set up the sonar cube it depends you can have any github account or you can have you can configure locally as well so let's go here the default id password would be admin admin quickly or uh, this is i'm doing this for local okay don't worry if you need to update this you just need to update the password by the way so old password is admin and new password will be admin at one two three uh this very secure password by the way okay so yeah now you can simply hit on update and i'm gonna i'm not gonna store this or uh, you might be wondering that oh i need to have any github or git things in order to play around with this thing so let me tell you guys this is not required you can choose this manual option if you have a local code inside your system you can simply uh create something just name it whatever it may be select the branch main uh, is the default one after that go to the this option locally and once you click here on locally you can directly generate uh this this thing okay this is the id and you can choose your any project javascript typescript.net trader whatever it may be if maven let's go with the spring boot all you have to do is to copy this command paste this inside your repository you're good to go it's gonna execute it's gonna create everything for you so that's the beauty of sonar cube you don't have to worry about anything else and all the things that comes with it by default issues security hotspots again majors code activity and lots of other stuff that we have already seen here okay overview pull request and on every commit it will automatically get trigger uh, all you have to have is a uh, few things if you go into the general settings uh here you you can find the general things scope and this kind of things you can play around with it's all your choice how how you do things this is the pull request personal access token you can provide here so this is something you that uh, you can explore guys it's it's all your choice how you how you play around with these things okay so yeah uh okay these these are uh, things are also built on the top of uh sonar cube because uh, there are many ways so last thing is remaining is how you will deploy this to aws and this is super easy i'm telling you guys all you have to have is aws i am user uh so i'm assuming you already have an aws account if you want to deploy this to aws and if you are not familiar about docker context docker context is something that allows you to deploy your docker compose file to your aws it will automatically create a cloud formation template for you so for that you all you have to do is docker uh context uh use or first create you need to create ecs okay and you just need to provide a name name is name let's suppose okay and it's gonna ask for which aws profile the default profile of course i'm gonna choose and after that uh i'm for that aws cli you have to have installed inside your system and you need to configure uh aws i am user over here i already provided id and password that's why it will work quickly and then what we have to do is to uh use docker context 
up okay hopefully i'm missing something i already have uh used this use let me use this name that i have provided yeah name i have provided now when i'll do docker compose up it will it will go sorry i'm not sure why this is working i don't want this i don't want this i want this so when i'll hit this docker compose up it what it will do it will deploy directly to your aws i haven't touched my aws yet with this cli only it's gonna deploy uh ecs forget uh does not support bind mounts from the host incompatible attributes uh, i missed something maybe uh so i need to play around with this thing little bit this compose but this is the way how you can deploy the things uh this is the right approach and of course you can provide the limits uh you can add the another attributes like deploy and uh, here you can provide the replicas how many replicas you want and this on on case of uh here as well if if you think that i have a big things on postgres you can easily uh add the bandwidth and this kind of thing you can manage here so this is all about sonar cube and installation of sonar cube on your respective systems uh so i guess this is it for this tutorial and thank you so much for your time guys i'm really very really happy uh, to be here i really uh, wanted to grow my channel so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and uh here's the thanks button you can use this thanks button in order to contribute even one dollar is enough uh, for us uh, to grow our channel so see you soon in next video till then ta -da, bye bye have a good day let me stop my video